Welcome back, everybody. It is Thursday, and you know what that means. Eric Raditz is here live, talking Florida Weekly. Thanks oh, for joining us. Good to be here. Good to see you both. How are you all doing? Doing, doing well. well. Yeah, looking forward to, uh, you know, some cooler weather moving into southwest Florida. Halloween this weekend. Yes. You may or may not be dressing up as a cat to match your son oh, he, or a dog or, or whatever he tells you to be, right? Whatever he wants me to be, I've stopped being the cool guy who wears <laughs> his maverick cap and aviator. Good dad coat, right there. And it might just be a panda bear or a dog. I don't know. Yeah, Last well, minute decision. It's always Halloween, a good game time good, decision. I think it's going to be, you know, big for the kids. Just get that sense of normalcy. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and actually jump into this week's issue, though. Um, one of the most remarkable things we saw were animals that were either being rescued, rescuing people. Think about the cat on that air conditioner. The cat unit. on the air conditioner, that video that went viral everywhere. You guys have actually a segment this week talking about some of this. Kind of elaborate for us, Eric. Yes, and if you weren't sure just how much your pets meant to you during this storm, you might have got some reminders. Like you mentioned, that person who was stuck in a tree holding his dog, the rescue of the woman with her three cats. Uh, we know how important uh, they are to us. They're we, family. They're family, but we flipped the script this, this time. How, how much do they save us? In other words, how, how important are they to us? We, so we take a good look at it. It's significant. This week, we take a look at the uh, connection with animal saviors. That's how I always phrased it. I had a little rescue one time, and we always phrased it as that she rescued us. Yeah. It's true. It does. Oh, I 100% I agree. Especially when you're inside during the storm. They were yes. kind of your company mm -hmm. during your this whole party. process. Absolutely. Let's talk this week's business section, what you have in store. Well, uh, a recent survey came out that said, suggested approximately eight, only 18% of employees think that their company deals with everything fairly. So we start to ask, what is fair? And, uh, for example, what is the difference between equity and equality? Uh, this week we peek into bringing them to the workforce. You also, uh, pretty exciting stuff, especially for folks from Sanibel, which was just decimated by Hurricane Ian. You have a New York Times best-selling author um, coming in, and this is connected to the Sanibel Island Writers Conference, right? Yes, and it's one of those uh, kind of staples of Southwest Florida things to do, uh, the Sanibel Writers Conference. I'm, I'm just so thankful that they're, you know, having it. Me too, and you're, you can be more thankful that you don't actually have to drive down. It's going to be free online. You can see the whole thing for free including an interview with Pam Houston, New York Times bestseller. We sit down with her this week and get a little bit, and we also have a full schedule at FloridaWeekly.com and an arts and entertainment section as to how you can enjoy the Sandville Writers Conference. And it is Halloween weekend, so we have to talk about things to do. I'm <laughs> sure we're just seeing some businesses reopen, yeah. some things start to bounce back. Uh, what is the community offering this weekend, Eric? So you probably have some Halloween plans. We have a few suggestions for you. Uh, on top of that, we also have some top picks. Some people come to town you might have heard of. Uh, Herman's Hermits playing tonight at the Barbara B. Mann Performing Arts Hall. Uh, tomorrow, the Halloween dance party at Sydney Burn Davis Art Center. That'll be fun. We've got uh, comedian Preacher Lawson from, uh, fr uh, coming to Off the Hook Comedy Club. A chorus line at Bar Bra Broadway Palm. <laughs> And much more, uh, find us on stands and online and on your device. And here uh, at the QR code, you can uh, scan it and take the whole section right into your home. To Beautiful. Read. It is. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks for swinging by, Eric. We appreciate it. Looking forward to Halloween weekend. Always a pleasure. I can't wait to see the end up hey, up We'll share we'll pictures. Be we'll careful out there. If, the, if that cat costume, if it's dark, put little reflectors on yourself. Oh, we got to keep you safe out Thank there you. trick or treating. Well, you, you'd be safe as well. I'll, I'll try my best. All righty. Well, coming up, it is piling up in your.